What is Heart Protocol? Heart Protocol Overview The majority of smart field devices installed worldwide today are heart enabled. More specifically, Heart is a bi-directional communication protocol that provides data access between intelligent field instruments and host systems DCS, PLC or handheld communicator. A host can be any software application from technician's handheld device or laptop to a plant's process control. Heart Technology Heart technology is easy to use and very reliable when used for commissioning and calibration of smart devices as well as for continuous online diagnostics. There are several reasons to have a host communicate with smart devices. These include Device configuration or reconfiguration Device diagnostics Device troubleshooting Reading the additional measurement values provided by the device Device health and status. Years of success using these benefits explain why heart technology is the largest of all communication protocols installed in more than 30 million devices worldwide. How heart works. Heart is an acronym for highway addressable remote transducer. The heart protocol makes use of the Bell 202 frequency shift keying FSK standard to superimpose digital communication signals at a low level on top of the 4 to 20 milliamperes. Frequency shift keying. The heart communication protocol is based on the Bell 202 telephone communication standard and operates using the frequency shift keying FSK principle. The digital signal is made up of two frequencies 1200 Hz and 2200 Hz representing bits 1 and 0 respectively. Sine waves of these two frequencies are superimposed on the direct current DC analog signal cables to provide simultaneous analog and digital communications. Because the average value of the FSK signal is always zero, the 4 to 20 milliamperes analog signal is not affected. The digital communication signal has a response time of approximately 2 to 3 data updates per second without interrupting the analog signal. This enables two-way field communication to take place and makes it possible for additional information beyond just the normal process variable to be communicated from a smart field instrument. The heart protocol communicates at 1200 bits per second without interrupting the 4 to 20 milliampere signal and allows a host application master to get two or more digital updates per second from a smart field device. As the digital FSK signal is phase continuous, there is no interference with the 4 to 20 milliamperes signal. Heart technology is a master-slave protocol, which means that a smart field slave device only speaks when spoken to by a master. The heart protocol can be used in various modes such as point-to-point -point or multi-drop for communicating information to from smart field instruments and central control or monitoring systems. The heart protocol provides two simultaneous communication channels, the 4 to 20 milliamperes analog signal and a digital signal. The 4 to 20 milliamperes signal communicates the primary measured value in the case of a field instrument. Additional device information is communicated using a digital signal that is superimposed on the analog signal. The digital signal contains information from the device including device status, diagnostics, additional measured or calculated values, etc. Together, the two communication channels provide a low-cost and very robust complete field communication solution that is easy to use and configure. Heart Networks Hard devices can operate in one of two network configurations, point-to-point -point or multi-drop. Point-to-point in point-to-point -point mode, the traditional 4 to 20 milliamperes signal is used to communicate one process variable while additional process variables, configuration parameters, and other device data are transferred digitally using the heart protocol.
The 4 to 20 milliampere's analog signal is not affected by the heart signal and can be used for control in the normal way. The heart communication digital signal gives access to secondary variables and other data that can be used for operations, commissioning, maintenance, and diagnostic purposes. The heart protocol provides for up to two masters primary and secondary. This allows secondary masters such as handheld communicators to be used without interfering with communications to from the primary master I control monitoring system. Multi-drop configuration. There is also an optional I-burst communication mode where a single slave device can continuously broadcast a standard heart reply message. Higher update rates are possible with this optional burst communication mode and use is normally restricted to point-to-point -point configuration. The multi-drop mode of operation requires only a single pair of wires and, if applicable, safety barriers and an auxiliary power supply for up to 15 field devices. Device Description Some hard host applications use device descriptions DD, to obtain information about the variables and functions contained in a hard field device. The DD includes all of the information needed by a host application to fully communicate with the field device. Heart Device Description Language DDL is used to write the DD that combines all of the information needed by the host application into a single structured file. The DD identifies which common practice commands are supported as well as the format and structure of all device-specific commands. A DD for a hard field device is roughly equivalent to a printer driver for a computer. DDs eliminate the need for host suppliers to develop and support custom interfaces and drivers. Benefits of using heart. Users worldwide who have realized the benefits of heart communication know that they can gain quick, easy visibility to devices in the field when using heart-enabled handheld test calibration devices and portable computers. In fact, device testing, diagnostics and configuration has never been easier. However, many have yet to realize hard technology's greatest benefits which come from full-time connections with real-time asset management and or control systems. Hard technology can help you leverage the capabilities of a full set of intelligent device data for operational improvements. Again, early warnings to variances in device product or process performance. Speed the troubleshooting time between the identification and resolution of problems. Continuously validate the integrity of loops and control automation system strategies. Increase asset productivity and system availability.